Hey folks, it's me Brian, and usually I end my videos with stay safe and stay sane. Today I am storing my sanity in a little bit of a way because there's exposition baseball on. I'm currently watching the Mets versus the Yankees in front of no fans at City Field, but it's baseball nonetheless. And tonight I'm drinking a Blackberry Besso. So, Let's get to it. Before I get to my drink, there's baseball. There's Uranus Cespedes in the on deck circle. And here he is actually batting. It's been a couple years since I've seen him last. He's had all these injuries over the last couple of years. He looked very hurt and he was limping last time I saw him on a Facebook video posted by the New York Mets on their official page. So let's see what the uh, former MVP candidate can do. He did well for us in 2015. A little ground ball, that's what he can do. All right. So this is a drink that I was going to make yesterday, but I didn't really have enough energy. I decided to make it today because it has been on my mind. It looks pretty delicious, but you know, with often these drinks, they look better than they taste. So let's get started. I got my tequila. I got my blackberries. I have my control. Agave nectar. I'm gonna combine it with a little bit of water to make syrup and my limes So this is a very complicated recipe it first starts with making blackberry tequila So to do that the recipe calls for one liter of tequila and one pint of blackberries and then mix them together not so it's a puree but mix them together. Obviously, I'm not gonna do one liter of tequila and one pint of blackberries. I'm gonna cut it into four. So I'm gonna do about a quarter liter, which is about eight ounces of tequila right here, and then a quarter of a pint, which is about four ounces. So I take a half of a cup, which is about a quarter of a pint of blackberries. Next, I'm gonna add in eight ounces of tequila. One of these days, I'm gonna get some better tequila. For now, going with the Costco brand. Next, I'm gonna blend it together. And then strain. So it's still straining, but I have two ounces, which is what I need for my drink. The next step is going to muddle two blackberries. I'm going to use three. Prepare the highball glass. In the shaker, you're going to combine the tequila, control, and lime juice. So you take two ounces of this blackberry tequila. An ounce of control. A half ounce of lime juice. So it's like squeezing half of a lime. and a half ounce of agave nectar syrup. I'm using a one-on-one -on -one mixture of agave nectar with water. Shake. And strain. Garnish. 
garnish with more blackberry. And there you have it folks, a blackberry basil. Prost my friends. This is quite tasty. This is good. It's a delicious looking drink and it is delicious. Stay safe, stay sane, and see you tomorrow folks. Play ball. So I did want to give you more of my impression on this drink. I do like it, however, it was a lot of work to make, especially the blackberry tequila. There's probably a blackberry tequila commercially made um, that one could buy and make this drink a little bit easier. I think I'm going to use a tequila and blackberry liqueur mixture the, the next time I make this. It'll be much less work, and I think you'll have an equivalent taste, but who knows? Um, but the whole blending the blackberries and the mess that it can make and the straining, I mean, it takes a long time to strain. But um, prose, my friends.